Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here are the ingredients we'll be using for our maripois. Garlic, bell pepper, celery, and onion. Add the maripois to a pan with some melted butter. Stir in all the chopped vegetables thoroughly before you start to add your ingredients. The first thing we're going to add is Creole seasoning. This will be our main seasoning ingredient for our Cajun Etouffee. I like to add some actual Cajun seasoning. Just a pinch of that will do the trick. Once again, we're stirring it in and incorporating all the seasoning with the maripois. This will infuse all the flavors you're looking for for your etouffee. Now, we're going to be adding a roux, which is just melted butter and flour. Stir this in as well, get it fully incorporated to infuse your flavors, and let it sit. Now we'll be adding a stock, and I'll be using clam juice. I'm going to pour in this entire bottle, which is about 8 ounces, 1 cup's worth. Shrimp stock can be used as well, but this is what I prefer. As you can see, it's thickening almost immediately. Just a few stirs, and we've almost got a paste. This is a good sign because now it's time to add some more liquid. And now we're going to add a couple cups worth of chicken bouillon or chicken stock. This will help the bulk of our etouffee. Stir this in completely, bring to a boil, and start adding some Worcestershire. This is going to help the flavor tremendously. Just don't add too much or you're going to ruin it. And I like this sriracha for some kick. It's good to use some Louisiana hot sauce, but this is my favorite and I can add in such a small amount and it can go so far with kick. Trust me with the sriracha. And as you can see, we've got it fully incorporated. It's a good time to taste it and see how our flavor is doing. I'm going to add a little bit of cream. Now, traditionally, this doesn't go in there, but I'm making a lighter etouffee, and the cream's going to help it a lot. But again, I taste it because the cream tends to dull the flavor, but I think it's just right. So at this point, we're going to move over to our main ingredient, the crawfish. But we're going to season the crawfish before we add it, and I'm seasoning it with some of the Creole seasoning. Mix that thoroughly and make sure it's completely incorporated. Back to the stove, we're going to add some bay leaves and let those soak in as it boils. And now we'll add our crawfish. Got about a pound's worth here that's going in. And because we add that seasoning, it's going to flavor the entire etouffee. But just for kicks, I'm going to add just a pinch more. And some Worcestershire. Tasting this the entire way you're making it is key to the success of your etouffee. And sprinkle in some Italian seasoning, which normally isn't in the recipe, but I like it for the thyme, majorum, rosemary, sage, and basil effect. Now we'll just reduce it to a simmer and get ready to plate. Just like that. Right over the top, dead center of a nice pile of rice. And there you have it. Crawfish etouffee right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Just so you know, I like to add some scallions on the top before I serve. <laughs>
Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by PoorMan'sGourmetKitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.